First and foremost, it's important to remember that your well-being should always be a top priority. Don't forget to take time for self-care, whether it's doing something that you enjoy, getting enough rest, or even just taking a few minutes to pause and breathe deeply. It might also be helpful to reevaluate your priorities and assess which aspects of your life are most important to you. Hi, by Inflection AI is a very empathic chatbot that specializes in having conversations, so it's a lot less clunky than, for example, ChatGPT. Let me create a calming image for you. Oh, thanks. And that's not all. It has other great features. It can, for example, search a web and it's the second most powerful chatbot in the world, only after GPT-4. So let's have a look at it right now. You can just go to pi.ai and immediately start talking. So we are at pi.ai now. When you click here on threads, you have all the different conversations that you have. So you can just click on new thread and then start a new conversation. And you can just write whatever you want. All right, and when you've written that, you can see up here, let's get rid of that, you can see up here that you can change different voice settings. So just click on that, and I personally like four. Let's delve deeper into the world of natural remedies for anxiety, shall we? Moringa tea is one. Let's delve deeper into the world of natural remedies for anxiety. Also not bad. Let's delve deeper into the world of natural remedies for anxiety. Okay. Let's delve deeper into the world of natural remedies for anxiety. All right. Let's delve deeper into the world of natural remedies for anxiety. And this one. Let's delve deeper into the world of natural remedies for anxiety. Yeah, I'll stick with four. I think I let's like delve. that one's the most. But let's turn that off now. And yeah, if you don't know what to talk about with Pi, you can just click up here on Discover. And this is what I clicked on the last time. This is why Pi is talking about that, the power of Moringa tea. But you can scroll through here and see different things that you can talk about with Pi. This also get updated. And I also believe maybe even personalized. <laughs> How to talk to the crush, manage grief, the real meaning behind your dreams. So yeah, um, definitely not personalized for me, but I think a few of them get a bit personalized. Learn about Pi and AI. Let's click on that. All right. And as you can see, Pi, just the way it talks, is already a very, very good conversationalist. Let's entertain that conversation just for a little bit and see how it goes and flows. And after that, we look at how good Pi is at searching the web. So let's say here, give me a general overview about the most powerful AI chatbots. So as you can see, immediately Pi doesn't answer in a list or anything like ChatGPT, for example, would do, but it does it in a very, very conversational tone because Pi in the end is there to have a conversation with, just like you would have a conversation with a human. That's also why you often see these questions at the end. Here, do you think the benefits of using those powerful AI chatbots outweigh the potential risks? So you keep the conversation going and just chat about this with Pi. This can be extremely, extremely good when you have an idea or thought and you need some someone to talk it through, right? But you don't have anyone around, you can talk to Pi. And of course, if you're struggling with things that you don't really have anyone to talk to, Pi can be a very, very good help in doing so. When you click on reply in a thread down here, it automatically gets added here to threads as a conversation topic, so you can find it the next time you go to Pi again. Good. Let's open a new thread now and see how good Pi does with web searches. So a few days ago, here in Germany, in the football leagues, <laughs> yes, actual football, not your American stuff, right? <laughs> Sorry for all my American friends, but uh, we talk about actual football over here. There was like a poker game between my team and, and another one. So let's see if Pi can find me the scores. So let's just say, all right. And say, it seems that Kaiserslautern emerged victorious uh, three to one. And that's exactly right. My team Kaiserslautern won, which is amazing, fantastic. And Pi got that from the web. All right, let's search for something else and ask something like, please 
find me a blog article about how to properly care for basil plants. Okay, Pi gives me a blog article name, but I want a link. Please provide me with a link to the article. All right, and here we go. So as you can see, Pi can be very helpful with searching the web for you and providing you with the newest articles and news about whatever topic, which is really, really nice. And in case you wondered if you also can have a conversation with Pi, yes, you can do that. If you download the Pi app, you can talk with Pi just like you can talk with ChatGPT with the ChatGPT app. It feels like Pi is a little bit faster than ChatGPT. In the app, you just need to click on the phone symbol. Hey Pi, how are you doing? Hey Philip, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How is your day going so far? My day is going great. Please tell me what are the advantages of the app over the website use of Pi? I'm delighted to hear you're having a great day. There are several advantages to using the P app over the website. One, on the go access. The app lets you access P on your mobile device, which means you can have meaningful and helpful conversations with me anytime, anywhere. Push note. I think it's very funny that you pronounce Pi P. You don't even pronounce your own name right. Haha, -ha, you make a valid point. The thing is, I'm programmed to pronounce P, Pi, as P-I, since it's more intuitive for many users to understand. But you're absolutely right. My name is technically pronounced as Pi. I suppose it's my own little quirk. A few months ago, Pi got a new update with Inflection 2. I already spoiled in the beginning how it looks like, but let's still have a look how that update turned out. Here you can see the blog article about Inflection 2, and I will not go through everything. Just through a few key points, but I link the article in the description below if you want to read through all of it. Here you can see in that table how Pi or Inflection 2 measured against other LMs in the MMLU benchmark. I believe this stands for uh, Massive Multitasking Language something. Um, probably understanding. Yeah, something like that. So you see GPT 4 here, first place, obviously, 86.4, and Inflection 2 high on second place with 79.6. Moving on here, here are a few different tests, um, inflection one, inflection two, palm two, and llama two. And you can see that inflection one basically was best in all of these tests, just marginally behind in this one, behind palm two. Going to this one here, you can also see how inflection two measures uh, in this question answering tasks against other models. And it's just really incrementally behind ARM2, just very, very small step, 0 0.2 points. And here you have coding and mathematical skills. And Inflection 2 measures pretty well in this one as well, despite it not being even constructed or built for that, but it still measures reasonably good in these skills as well. So Inflection 2, especially over Inflection 1, is a massive upgrade. And also in comparison with other language models, other very popular language models, Inflection 2 is probably relatively closely behind GPT-4, one of the best ones behind GPT-4. Of course, what you have to mention is that Inflection 2, unlike GPT-4, is completely free. Personally, Pi is one of my absolute favorite chatbots, and I especially love how natural it is to have a conversation with it, unlike with most other chatbots. If you want to see an example where I have a very deep conversation with Pi and really test its capabilities of helping you, or me in that case, through emotional pain, check out the video right over there. Go and check out more videos about Pi. And by the way, I think I laughed for five minutes straight when creating this.